Welcome back to the channel. We're cutting hay again. I um, actually just uh, cut and got the sickle motor disconnected and got the crimper, the hay conditioner hooked up. I'll show you that here. So we're gonna head out here and crimp the hay. Uh, I forgot to start this intro before I was cutting, but I figured I'd do it now in between. So we got the hay conditioner all hooked up. It's ready to go, greased, chains oiled. And then we just have the sickle kind of stuck over here to the side for now. And you probably see in the background the hay from uh, the last video from the field uh, here by the barn. I'm gonna give that another day or so. Um, I've checked it a few times. There's no, there's no heat in it. Um, everything seems seems normal. So I'm gonna give it another day or two, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna pull pull the baler out, pull the international out, and get the wagons a little closer over here in the corner where I stack it, and I'll get that hay stacked up. But let's get uh, back on the tractor here, and let's go let's go run the conditioner over the hay. It's a, it's a beautiful day. It's in the upper 70s. I don't know if you can see the field over there where I cut, but it's in the upper 70s. It's sunny. There's a light breeze, so it's perfect. It's perfect hay drying weather. So we'll get the conditioner to go over the, over the hay, get all the stems broken, and let it really get dry.
as you guys saw, we actually pulled the wagons behind the baler, uh, behind the old 986 here. Um, it was still, still a lot of work just because I didn't have anybody on the wagon today. So I had to, well, as the wagons filled up more often, but every so many bales, I had to jump out, park the tractor, jump out and get them stacked. So I think it was easier overall than, pick, than going back and picking them up, but uh, still it was a lot of in and out, a lot of work, but it was, but it worked well. I was happy with it. Um, we got, uh, if the counter's correct, and the few broken bells we had, I think we got right at exactly 200 bells out of this field. So I was very pleased with that. Um, and the field is the one right over here. Get closer to the door so the light doesn't wash it out. This field over goes across the front of the house and then around the other side. I'd have to look at my hay totals from last year, but uh, I've never got 200 out of that field, so that's good. I know, I know, I know I'm bailing late. This is much later than I'd like to bail, so I know that's part of it. I got everything kind of jammed in here because right as I was bringing the wagons down, looked like it was there were some rain clouds out in the distance. Looked like we could get some rain, so I kind of just jammed everything in here kind of quick. All the equipment ran well. Uh, the 986 did a good job. I was happy with it. No issues. The Kubota, obviously, I've never had an issue with it, but it rake in moving wagons. Um, no issues, but the baler, I had two rated pretty close to the beginning, within the first 10 bells, I guess, two that the knot slipped through. Um, and then probably 100, 130 bells later, there was two more. Um, and then other than that, there was one that was my fault. I was trying to jam too many on the wagon, and it slipped off, and the, the string caught, and it broke itself. So had five broken bells, four um, the knot didn't, didn't hold. Then one was my fault. So that was, I was pretty happy for four missed knots out of 200. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with, especially for that old baler. So I've talked long enough here. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please hit the like, the subscribe button. We really appreciate that. Um, hope you enjoyed the, uh, the hay baling. So we'll see you on the next video.